Hello folks, Foxo back again. This is now part 60 of my Atlas Rising series and for those of you that got bored sick while I'm watching my last one probably <laughs> um, I am now in my own freighter and what happened was I left you in the last video <clears throat> closed down and heading back to the station to go back to one of the other systems and a load of freighters ported in and this one ported in. Still too pricey to what I wanted to pay but it's got 18 slots so I bought it 162 million and um, it was a style that I liked on the first one but obviously B-class hyper, hyper drive range is reasonable and it's got 18 slots so I think that's as good as we're going to get at this price I could have kept on looking and got a cheaper price I think because I did find one of the cheaper prices never mind I can make up the money at some stage <coughs> so yeah now we've got it now I'm going to go and carry on with the questing so we've got to get back to um, Rick or whatever it's called I can never pronounce it and start the quest off again so we can start getting that out of the way so home freighter at last Obviously down in money, how much have I got left? Um, 47 million, so we need to make some more eventually. But I've got something in my exosuit which we can sell soon, so that'll give us another hopefully 16 million. But let's get on with the questing, so we need to go back to that other place. And start, start exploring. Yeah, really? Let's stay close. Let's see what happens. It's good to stay close to the station. Where are you all going to come from, guys? Oh, well, yeah, I've got some valuables. You can have them if you want. You know, got to pay for them, though. Come on, get in. You're down already. They went long. So I'm not flying properly. I'm getting constantly harassed by fires. I really am. Not in so don't leave me alone. I'm more or less standing still because I'm by the station. And uh <laughs> cheesy way of flying. It does make aiming a lot easier though. With this stupid control. Look! Let's have them, shall we? Nothing found. That's them all done, innit? What do you mean, nothing found? It's a bit slow. Shield at max. It's, it's sort of catching up on all the things that we've just done. <laughs> Look how slow it's taking. Is it repeating itself? Shield at max, but it's just in a loop. Get out of this loop! Oh, at last! That took his time. Anyway, shall we carry on? How much iron have I got left now? So it's nearly used 500, just on those three. Let's get on with this quest. Get it started. Let's get to the station. 
I've heard a lot of people that have left this quest behind. They've gone exploring, gone millions of light years away, and they can't get back. So, yeah. Target life form detective. Well, we're going there, fellas. Don't worry. I'm not ignoring you this time. I did keep you on my uh, portal all this time. <laughs> I did do something right. Oh, I'm probably going to have to get rep. I know I haven't got hardly any rep with a callback, so this is a rep thing. So you know, I'll probably have to do on the next one, do your callbacks, but so I haven't done any um, missions yet. I did do some initially, but um, then I stopped doing it to get my base sorted out. Q or a first grave, okay. <laughs> oh, and I've got eight um glyphs now because uh, one guy mentioned that if you go from the grave go and buy uh, go just back to the station and sell something then go back to the grave it's um you can reenact with it and it does it worked that way so I went and got eight, up to eight and then I carried on building my base I'll do that a bit later on unless they pass that out because obviously that shouldn't be happening to be quite honest shouldn't be able to get it like that no, I'll probably pass that out at some time. So that's another glitch in the game. You are straight quick landing upside down. Wait, go on, there you go. Well done, Olive. You love doing your somersaults and kicking me off, didn't you? <laughs> on these, she kicks me right off. Hey, hello. Sales get Obil. What you got for me? Nothing. As I approach the life form, their beak begins to click. <clears throat> A strange gas issuing forth. It is unclear if Artemis translator is working. Ask for information about this star system. The life form shakes their head, disappointed in me. Really? Why? What have I done wrong now? I tried to resist smelling their gas, but the odour he wanted me to smell his gas first, dirty little sod, permeates my exosuit rents. Even my life support system, I am filled with an overwhelming desire to purchase things. <laughs> offer units for information. Oh, yeah, cheeky sod. Um, I offer units to the Gek, repeating my request for information. The Gek smiles, the gas record receding. They appear to have found the entire exchange amusing. Really? In exchange for this amusement, they offered to decode the star chart for free. Well, thank you, Mr. Gek. And, strange behaviour for first greeting, friend. Trade Federation, please to establish new customer. Friend, please pass me the data for examination. Give star chart. I asked the life form to decode the star chart and provide a route to Artemis location. Your data appears to be fabricated, friend, or possibly corrupted. No such location exists. So sugar. Ask if they could have made a mistake. Oh, he's going to shit at me, isn't he? The Gek is offended by the suggestion that they made a mistake. They say they will give me a low rating on the trade for Asian data for my impertinence. <laughs> you little shit! I apologise and leave. Oh shit, I should have left. Objective. Alone amongst the stars. I'll go to another one now, haven't we? Go on then, give me. Return to space to make contact with Artemis, okay. Oh, oh Mr. Box, don't fly away. I probably ain't got enough money to buy him anyway, but um, I need to do this in my freighter first. Yeah, I wouldn't buy one out because I'm not going to sell Olive. So I need to buy one in my freighter to be honest, but anyway. Let's do that later guys, shall we? Right, let's go and have a chat with Artemis, hopefully.
Incoming message, frequency Artemis. I wish I could see it because I won't see him if he comes up. See, I can't see him, I don't know why. I never have been able to. There you are, because uh, I've seen on some videos that um, you can actually see him. I don't know why it's like this, is mine. There you are. I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Tell Artemis what happened. I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have travelled that far from chartered space. You found my ship. Should just um Hmm. As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they've altered since I made that chart. Blinked out in... How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to... It is quiet at first, but it is there. Unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words, a sound as if glass could scream. Oh God, I could scream. Um, ask what is happening. They're coming for me. I can't see them. Smell them. I discovered a glyph for a portal, traveller. A gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind. But now, I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I, zzz, I was so wrong. I I can see their faces. I cause it, there are seeds of glass within there. Um, remain silent. Where have you gone? What's wrong with you? Please, I. Zzz. I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't zzz, to be alone anymore. Didn't want obviously. 16, because it warn your face it. Warn your face it. Zzz, please, not yet. I'm not. Zzz. The signal cuts off as it crackles into oblivion. I hear a name through the static. Oh yeah, Apollo. Register ID. The frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. I'm thinking I'm reading the story again. Ghosts in the machine. Artificial AI. Remember AI? Ghosts in the machine. AI intelligence, um, sci-fi film, Ghost in the Machine, the Professor dies, Ghost in the Machines, come on guys, I've got to know it, um, what we've got to do, scan, Ghost in the Machine, activate the hollow terminus, right, where is it, there we go, we're going to meet dear old Apollo, are we, go away pilots, go away, Listen to their music. Come on, get there. This week, please, not next week. Do it again, go. Scan fail. In other words, piss off. <laughs> I do like this quest line, even though this is my second time of doing it. I'm still finding it enjoyable. Even though I've only just started, right? You know. But yeah, I still find it enjoyable, guys. Doing it the second time around. There's some of the quests in... Um, because I was an autoholic in World of Warcraft. I used to love some of the quests in that. Because I did play that for a long time. I think it was nearly eight years I played that game. I couldn't go back to it, but yeah. So. I love stories. Go. 
I do like this. I've got all you lot, and I, I think. Up we go. Taking in the sights as we go, you know. To be quite honest, I'm not going to rush it. I am in no hurry whatsoever. <laughs> I don't give a shit how much you want me to rush, I'm not going to. Hmm. I like the way they've done this, it's cool. Hollow terminals activated, multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Tune to Apollo. Signal match detected. Here we go. Cool. I'm just peeved I don't see them in my spaceship like this. Don't know why it does that. The transmission is silent. The stranger just stares at me. Um, greet Apollo. Don't stare back. That's rude. Identify yourself or I end this call. We'll end it then. <laughs> Say you are a friend of Artemis. There you go. He tilts his head. Look, did you see that? No, you're not. Argue with them. Ask why. Why do you use that word at all, friend? It is just a label, a pretense to make you feel better about being alone. No, it's not, dipstick. <laughs> Why are you contacting me, anyway? Is Artemis behind this? I haven't changed my mind. I don't care if some dream says we're travellers. I'll meet if I'm paid to meet, you little mercenary. Even this conversation is a waste of valuable contract time. Say Artemis is in trouble, you dickhead. I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble that they attempted to use a portal and became stranded on some distant and uncharted world, disappearing from the Hollow Terminus network. Don't you feel sorry for them, you little shit? Apollo's demeanor changes. Yeah, I thought it would. They appear uncomfortable at the news. Send me your data logs. Let me see for this for myself. Upload the log. Apollo studies the log, pausing and replaying the various segments of static and distortions. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. Oh, what you found, mate? These noises, they sound just like the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere. Yeah, they keep doing that. If you interfere with their precious planets. But this data, it's distorted, inverted. The Viking will pay handsomely if we figure out how the sentinels appear so quickly. Oh, here we go. And this recording of yours, the portals, perhaps they're the key. Suggest life is worth more than money. Um, um, well it is I suppose. <coughs> You're worried about Artemis? Don't be. If we can figure this out, we can save them. Oh really, I don't think we can somehow. So what do you say? Do you want to work together on this, be partners, except? If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there, not yet at least. Oh, okay, later on though, isn't it? <laughs> you can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and uh, other damaged machines. I think I already know this, you know. I've been in space a long time, Apollo. Ironic, really. The same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants in space stations to get the blueprints you need. Oh yeah, okay. As the hologram recedes, Apollo's head turns to the side ever so slightly, as if sighing, saddened. Or perhaps it was nothing, a ghost in the machine. Well now what, I can't remember what I do after this. I've only done it once, guys. You know my memory is terrible. Um. Come on, what do I do now? Oh shit. Let's have a look at the log, see what the dear old log says. Um, ghost in the machine. Why have I got the axle half down twice? Well, that's a bit weird. Oh, don't ponder on it, who cares? Visit a multi-tool technology trade in a Viking system across the galaxy map with, yeah, whatever. Um, 
my system's Viking, isn't it? So I might as well go there. Um, yes, let's go to my system. I've oh, 20 minutes in already. It's a long drop. Way drop. Oh, there it is. There you are, Liv. I thought I lost you. She's cool, isn't she, eh? Slim and slender, long and sleek. Can you save? And not too fat on the broad beam because she hasn't got much space. <laughs> Only 31 slots, you know. Right, let's go. Let's get to my system because that's Viking. I'm not going to warp there. I'm not going to waste the warp cell. Oh, you see that move? That move directly to the right about a foot. The station I'm talking about. <coughs> I've still not lost any enthusiasm for this game, which is saying something. I've now done, what is it, 1,680 hours in the game. So yeah, I'm still enjoying it. Well, I'm repeating everything really, to be honest, even though I can't bloody remember half of it. <laughs> you know, old fart, but I'd be like this anyway, I've always been like this. I only remember really, really important stuff. This is a game at the end of the day, isn't it? So it can be a bit flippant. Right, said Fred. Let's get home and visit our home station. And that should hopefully, unless it's um, go to machine mission targets in another system. Yes, yeah, so you can start going back with that. It should be in my, unless it's going to send me to a particular one. Well, anyway, let's find out because I know if we can do it this way. Uh, Lock of station, which is that one. And that's my home one. And if this work, I might have to go out into space. Oh, don't crash on me. I hate it when it stutters like that. It's not indicating where for me to go anywhere. Yeah, I might have to go into space by the looks of it. Vision target is there. It would be, wouldn't it? It wouldn't let me go to the one I've already got. Little sods. Sending people. Oh, it's probably going to send me to one stop where we just were. Oh, I made me make a boo there, let's see. Let's go out in space and check. Because it might be two or three jumps. So, let's see. Atlas. Mission, please. Can't mission. Oh, no, it's only one jump, okay. Bluefin Trader. I have to send you to their particular one. What system is that? Boo what system? Um, Blueprint Trainer, Viking, Rowdy. Conflict level, Rowdy. Tells me now because I've got the scanner. I ain't got the economy scanner yet though. Cool, let's go. I wonder I've got why I've got the Atlas twice on my um, mission log. That's just a graphical chart. Freaking hell, 24 minutes in guys. Oh shit. Oh shit. What did I tell you? What did I tell you in my previous video? I bet this one, well probably won't be, but the likelihood is we've got to go for it guys. Um, how much um, iron have I got? Hmm, a bit risky, but we'll see. Um, this will probably be about 300 million or something, but if it's under 200 million I'll be kicking myself. <laughs> you know? Because I ain't got that now. Are you reds or what? I don't know if they're the enemy. Find out. Yeah. Yeah, they're the enemy.
Come on, get your nose up. Cool. Next up. Out of range. Well, that's a nice freaking, my favourite style as well. I'm obviously never going to be able to afford it. Come on, guys, where are you? The other side, for Christ's sake. Come on, follow me out, please. So I'm away from the crater. Come on, they're not following. Why can't I target him? Let's do the next one. I'm looking everywhere but where I should be looking. What's the blues? That so helps having those extra two shields, I'm telling you. Um, the defense. The damage goes down a lot slower than just having the one shield. There is a big difference. Go past him. Now we go backwards. Just watch Bluey doesn't get in the way. Oh, it's, you know, it's, that looked like Ollie's cousin there, same naughty girl. <laughs> it's the same style of shit. So, you know, that's the way I'm thinking. Oh, come on, Bluey, get out of the way. I'm hitting the rocks here. No, there's more. Come on guys, get out from that there. Look at where they're stuck. How can I fight them? Without hitting the freighter. I think they're stuck in the freighter, man. No. Come on Blueies, get out of the way. Yeah, that's her sister, look, see? See her roll there? Her sister's helping out. But we did kill her cousin just now. <laughs> oh, I hate it when those blues get so close to it. Um. Boy. I do not want to hit the blue ones, that's why I'm being a bit careful. I hope this is the last one. You know. Oh, those blues are too close to it. Every time they line up like that, oh, we're, we're getting the rubber band in again. Uh, see, look how they get behind it. You're going to hit them. I don't want to hit the blue. And we're rubber banding. Shit. Ah. Doing it again. And again. This is a real pain. 
See? We're going backwards. Yeah, I'm also pressing the back button. I'm pressing the forward button now and it's... You can hear that sent us a long way. And he's doing it again. Must be that location. Nasty bug. If we ever could just get near him, he just sends us all over the place. Let's just do it at this speed, see if I can hit him. We can know the speed he's coming at. I'm not going to do this. Punching around like this. Come on, get a clean moment when the rubber banding stop, which it ain't. <laughs> oh my god. It's going to crash in a minute. Look, look, look at this. Look. Crazy. Come on, kill him. Oh, and I've hit one of the other ones. Just had to, didn't it? By doing that. Shit, I know. Give this up as a bad job, I think. Is it going to settle down or what? No. Nope, it's not going to sell down, is it? Come on, get in, go. Cool. Please be the last one so we can get out of this. Yeah, cool. Now, can we go back to that player? <coughs> Remember what I said in the previous... Oh, this has gone over 30 minutes, but never mind. Remember what I said in the previous video about Sod's Law? If this is under 200 million, which is doubtful, but... If I can get in it... There's blue. Yeah, that was a pain, that rubber banding. It's quite bad. But we've done it, so what can you do? <coughs> so what I'll do when I get <coughs> to see what the result of this is, I'll call it and start off the quest in the next video. But I don't think I, I would have probably been able to afford this one anyway. It's going to be, I would have thought, over 200 million. So yeah. Yeah, that fight took a bit longer than normal because of all the banding. Um, where's his icon gone? Yeah, we know that's a blueprint trader. I want the captain. Yeah, that's a bit the wrong side. That means he's not going to offer a reward. Because normally the sign would be there. I fought hard for that reward, mate. You know, all those elastic bands hitting me in the face. Oh, it is. Take reward. Now, I don't know if, if you infuse the board, do you get the plate cheaper or not? I don't know. I've never tried it, so there's no way of telling, is there? You can't do it twice. So, you take it. I don't know how you can prove that, to be quite honest, unless you can save it just immediately prior. No, come on, I want some warp cells. Yeah, that's okay. I want a warp cell as well, thank you. There's a lot of rubber banding there for you. Let's see what it is. What? What did I tell you? It's a 32 slot at 112 million. What did I say about Sod's Law? There you have it straight in front of you folks. I could have afforded that. <laughs> you know, double my slots nearly. Oh, it's crazy isn't it? This is how Sod's Law works. 
how Murphy will always work, you know, and it's one of the ships that I like. I'm not going to swear, okay? I'm just not going to swear. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, if I go and make some money to 200 million and then get into another battle with one of these, it'll be 400 million. You know? That's Sodgland Murphy's Law. Anyway, guys, um, 35 minutes. I'm calling it here. I thank you if you got this far, and I'll catch you in the next one when we carry on with the uh, quest.